Once you guys got another video, uh, this guy asked the question after I upgraded to Windows 11 24H2, he had no access to his Western Digital NAS anymore. So he couldn't access his NAS and he was getting an error code like you see here, network error, error code 0x800735, the network path was not found. And he may be getting something like that because he's upgraded to Windows 11 24H2 and Microsoft have made two security changes which we'll go through in this video but I'll show you a quick fix and a workaround so you can gain access to your NAS and then upgrade it and make some changes to that NAS so you don't have this issue in the future. So let's go ahead and take a look here. If you've got an issue like this what you want to do is hit the start button and go to settings and then go into network and internet. First thing you want to do is go to your ethernet connection because obviously you'll be connected via ethernet Make sure the radio button is in private network. Your device is then discoverable on your network. So make sure that is on by putting the radio button in there. And what we want to do is we're going to go up to the top left and click the back button here. Once we go back, we're going to come down to advanced network settings at the very bottom of the page. Click on that one right there. And then from here, we're going to click on more settings where it says advanced sharing settings. Click on this one here and this will open up another window here. Now from here, on your private network settings right here, make sure the radio button is toggled on. And this is for network discovery. Your PC can be found on the local network by other devices. And also file and printer sharing needs to be toggled on as well. And you can leave this set up network connected devices automatically. Leave that on. In your public networking, just make sure these two are set to off. And what we're going to do is go down to where it says all networks and you can make sure these two are set to off as well. This is for your public folder sharing and also for password protected sharing. Turn this off because this can knock you off the network. So let's go ahead and go back to our desktop. And before we continue, just have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 11 Pro or cheap Windows 10 Pro OEM key, Check out the links in the video description and make sure you use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply that to your order and get a 30% discount on all your purchases on CD key sales this Christmas. Once you've submitted your order, they will send you your key and you can use this key to either upgrade from Windows 10 home or Windows 11 home to pro versions or you can activate your version of Windows just like you see on the screen right now. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to the start button here and type GP edit just like so. Now this will allow us to open up the group policy editor. Let's expand this up so we can see it. And once we've got this open, we're going to make some uh, group policy changes to the system. So from here, what we're going to do is we're going to go to computer configuration. We're going to go to Windows settings. We're going to open this window up here, security settings. And then we're going to come down to where it says local policies. Once we're inside local policies, just open that up a little bit and then go to security options. Once inside this window here on the security options on the right hand pane, what we're going to do is going to come down and we're looking for this one right here where it says Microsoft Network Client Digitally Signed Communications Always. So we're going to double click on this one right here. And you can see it's enabled, but we want to disable this. And the reason why we're going to disable this is because we want to modify this setting. And you can see here it says may affect compatibility with clients, uh, services and also applications. But don't worry about this. You can sort this out once you gain access to your NAS. So we're going to click OK here and we can see that is now been set to disable. Next, you're going to want to go to the next location. So let me quickly uh, close this off right here and go back to where we started. So what we want to do this time is we're going to go to computer configuration, administrative templates, and then we're going to come down to where it says network. And then click this and open it up. And from here, we're going to go to uh, Landman Workstation. Inside here, on the right-hand pane here, what we want to do is we want to look for, let's see, there it is there, Enable Insecure Guest uh, Logons. We're going to double-click on this one right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to enable this feature. Now, you can see here, if we enable this feature, 
Um, you can see the SMB client will reject insecure guest logons. But if we enable this feature policy setting, or if it's not configured, this policy uh, setting, the SMB client will allow insecure guest logons. This is in case uh, you had that set and it will now allow you to gain access to your NAS. But I'd advise you to make sure that you secure your NAS after you've done uh, this and gained access to it and make some uh, security changes uh, and turn these features back off. Uh, so what I want to do here is going to click apply and OK. So why is this happening? Access in a third party NAS with SMB in Windows 11 24H2 may fail. Uh, Nedpile is basically put an article up here on Microsoft's website and it says in Windows 11 24H2 we've made two major security changes that can affect mapping drives to third party consumer NASs or routers with the use of USB storage. And right here it says by default SMB sign in is required on all connections. Uh, this increases security and also guest uh, fallback is disabled on Windows 11 Pro editions. So this also is a security feature and you can see we've actually bypassed this by disabling these two features and allowing us access back into the NAS. But you will need to put these back on for security reasons because obviously these have been uh, put in place to protect you to stop man in the middle attacks. So I'll leave a link to the article in the video description. It's a six minute read and uh, Ned Parr has put all this together to explain what the real reasons for it is. And you can see here, uh, these are the main reasons for it. And you may get these error codes on here, which is status invalid signature. And there's an error code uh, right there. And there's also the one like the network path was not found, which was the error code that we mentioned. There's also how to solve this issue which is what I've just showed you right here. If you're using a Windows 11 Pro system, you can use the group policy editor, which I went through and just showed you right here. And I'll leave a link for that in the video description, like I've said. And it just basically tells you how to bypass this and how to get back onto your NAS. If you've got Windows 11 Home Editions, it won't have the group policy editor and you will need to use the PowerShell and there is an actual PowerShell command here. There's two of them and I'll quickly show you that in this video so you know. So just copy these two bits of code here like so. We'll do the first bit of code first and once we've got that code copied all we need to do here now is go back to the computer here, right click on the start button and open up a terminal window with administrator privileges and you'll see this little black box popping up here. Just paste that in like so and push enter. You only need to do these commands on a Windows 11 home system. Uh, you can say Y for yes, or you can say A, yes to all. Uh, either way, it's going to work. And then go back to that page and copy the second bit of code, and you should be good to go. Now, you can do this on Pro machines as well, but this is really geared up for people that don't have Group Policy Editor, and they will be forced to use uh, the PowerShell because they don't have it on their system. So let's copy the last command here and we're going to paste this in like so push enter and say uh, either y for yes or a yes for all and it will basically uh, put that in place so let's go ahead and do that right here and i'll just put a and say yes to all and it's now done once you've done that you can close this off restart your pc and you should be able to gain access to your nas and now you need to make sure your nas is fully updated with all the latest security updates check the SMB uh, settings. If you look inside Turn Windows Features on or off, you will see by default the SMB 1.0 uh, SIFS file sharing support has all been disabled by default because Microsoft deemed these as a security risk in 2024. And of course, if you have a really old NAS, some of these require this setting. So you can temporarily turn this on as well, which will allow you to gain access to your NAS as well. And you can uh, turn it on temporarily so you can gain access. And once you've uh, clicked on your NAS, you should be able to get in here and make uh, the required changes. If it's a really, really old NAS, it may be time to either upgrade your NAS or you can disable those features like I showed you and left, leave them disabled and take the risk. It's entirely up to you. Anyway, but that said, I think that is going to be about it. That is basically another major issue with Windows 11 24H2. If you have maybe older NASs 
or you have some settings on that NAS uh, that require to be changed because of the new uh, security requirements for Windows 11 24H2. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Quick shout out to all my YouTube members, whether you're tier one, tier two or tier three. I really do appreciate the support. Have a lovely day and I shall catch you in the very next video. Bye for now. Thank you.